A LCD, liquid crystal display is a flat panel display technology commonly used in televisions, computer monitors, tablets and other devices. LCD screens rely on the manipulation of light and liquid crystals to display images. In today's video, we are going to learn these LCD in details. We are going to see the concept of light spectrum across the polarized layer. The liquid crystals. And the concept the thin film transistors, how they are arranged and powered. All these you'll find in this video. So kindly subscribe to this channel. Display technology has taken very beyond imaginable concepts to ensure we have the best in quality image and video display. The evolution of screens has been a fascinating journey. Spanning from early mechanical device to modern digital displays. It all began in 1800s when mechanical TV was invented. Precisely the Nipkow disc in 1884. This was spinning disc with holes to projected images. Basic structure of an LCD comprises of at the front we have glass cover. This is a protective layer that covers the entire display surface. It shields the delicate internal components from damage due to scratches, impact or pressure. Next we have a display surface. This is the outermost visible part of the display surface. Then followed by the RGB color filter. It is responsible for generating color. Each pixel is divided into subpixels with red, green, and blue filters. By controlling the intensity of light passing through each subpixel, the display can generate any color. In practical when we combine red, green and blue color filters we can produce a white color. Then the horizontal polarized layer. This allows only light waves oscillating in one direction horizontally to pass through. The incoming light from the backlight is filtered to create horizontally polarized light. Then we have top electrode. This is a transparent electrode layer. This is a transparent conductive layer, often made of indium tinioxide that applies an electric field to control the behavior of liquid crystal molecules below. Then the liquid crystal layer. This is the core of LCD. The liquid crystal molecules change their alignment when subjected to an electric field from the top to bottom electrodes. The alignment of these molecules determines how much light can pass through the next layer. Then the bottom electrode, pixel electrode or film transistor layer.
This is layer that contains the TFT or pixel electrodes. Each pixels has its own electrode that applies the voltage to the liquid crystal controlling their orientation. This bottom electrode is responsible for pixel by pixel control. The vertical polarized layer, it is perpendicular oriented to the first horizontal polarizer. Then lastly the backlight unit. They are source of light for the LCD. Lastly, the electronic driver circuit. Now let's understand the working of the LCD screens in simpler terms. When we have a source of light, the light spectrum travels at all angle in 360 degrees. So we use the vertical polarizer, the light spectrums will be blocked. Allowing light only in the vertical direction. When we add the horizontal polarizer, then the vertical spectrum will be blocked. Hence no light reaches the RGB color filter. When we use a prism glass, these light can be rotated at 90 degrees. Hence light passes through the horizontal polarizer, hence reaching the RGB color filter. Now for accuracy, we use the liquid crystal layers, which structure can be rotated by applying the current. Hence here we use thin film transistor to power the crystals. The TFT are arranged with each subpixel to control the liquid crystal. The thin film transistor TFT LCD has source, gate, and drain. It also has capacitor for storage of data. The source of the transistor receives data, which control light passing through the crystal to filter color. When we combine these many pixels, we can achieve a very accurate picture on the screen. The gates of the transistors are connected together, then to a gate driver. The drain terminal and capacitor of each transistor are connected to the other transistor to calm. Each source of the pixel are controlled by source driver. Each gate driver controls only a certain number of columns. The gate driver executes progressive scan, line is displayed one by one. The controller of the circuit also knows which color each pixel should produce.
I hope you found this video informative if you did. Kindly subscribe, like and share. See you in the next one.